Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and I have a fun birthday card to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Gnome Dyes, their Build-A-Booth Alphabet Add-Ons, their Smell the Flowers stamp set, their Happy Trails Gnome Outline Dyes, and the matching stamp set, uh, the Gnome Dyes Candy Charm Add-Ons, the Mushroom Dyes, Card Mat Dyes, Tree Stump Dye, Gnome Dyes Outdoor Add-Ons, and the Gnome Dyes Winter Add-Ons. And I'm using the Great Outdoors six inch pad and the 12 inch barbecue from Doodlebug. And I'm going ahead and I'm going to cut a piece of Jimin Tindalo cardstock. It's just a wood grain uh, craft cardstock at 4.25 by 11. And I'm going to score it at five and a half inches to make a, a vertical A2 size card. And then I'm just cutting a piece of white paper to go on the inside, um, four by five and a quarter inches. So I'm going to score this paper, like I said, at five and a quarter inches. And then I will reinforce that fold with my Teflon bone folder. I did use my Martha Stewart scoreboard for that. There we go. And I'm going to take a strip of paper from this Great Outdoors six inch, six inch pad from Doodlebug and I'll cut a strip one inch wide to go on the inside. There we go. And then I'll be adding that to the inside. Now, obviously, you could write on this craft cardstock on the inside. You could see it. But I thought I always like to add um, a white piece of paper. I think it adds something. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding that with my ATG tape to the inside. Just lining it up, working on my Stampin' Up! pad as per usual. All my die cutting today was done with my Anna Griffin mini impress machine. So I'm going to stick this down, lining it up with the bottom of that white paper. There we go. And then I'll trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. I really love the wood grain texture of this cardstock. I believe other companies sell it. Um, I think Lawn Fawn does. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, you can look it up. It's, it's just a, a thick cardstock um, that has a wood grain finish. So next I'm stamping um, two sentiments onto my Paper Trank white cardstock with VersaFine Claire Nocturne Ink and using my Misty. The one that says you're older than dirt, that might be the Smell the Flower stamp set. That might be retired. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. But okay, next I'm going to line up my outline die. Um, that is the uh, Gnome die or, or the Happy Trails Gnome stamp set and the Happy Trails uh, Gnome outline dies. And I'm going to run that through my um, paper trimmer. Next, I went ahead and I cut out uh, the Builder Booth Alphabet add-ons dies I cut out the letters PS using dark chocolate cardstock from paper train and I'm just going to add that in front of my little sentiment so it says PS you're older than dirt and I'm going to trim that down with my trimmer to roughly you know three quarters of an inch and then I'll cut a one inch strip to sort of frame it out there we go, I'm taking a one inch strip of this paper here from that same Great Outdoors six inch pad from Doodlebug. There we go, and I'm going to add those two together. So I have my little sentiment strip and the pattern on the outside, and then I will add that to the inside of my card. So I'm gonna put it about halfway up just so I have somewhere to write. Actually, this I'm making for um, one of my friends is going to a 75th birthday party and she requested a card. So I made it for her. I guess this guy is quite outdoorsy. He may be 75, but he's outdoorsy and he likes to do all that stuff. So I thought this kind of is up his alley. So there we go. So it says, P.S. You're older than dirt. Okay, next I went ahead and I cut out the gnome beard and the mustache with paper tray ink smoky shadow cardstock. It's like a dark gray. And I'm using white daisy pigment ink from close to my heart to ink around the edges. Now you could use any white pigment ink. Now these papers here were cut from that six inch pad from Doodlebug, uh, the great outdoors. You'll notice that I made a boo-boo on the left-hand side of that hat. Part of it's cut off, but it's going to be hidden anyway, so I'm not too worried. And I'm just inking around all the pieces that I cut out with this ink. Now my base, <clears throat> excuse me, my base of my um, gnome 
was cut from American Crafts black cardstock. It doesn't matter. It's not going to show, but just so you know. Okay, so I'm inking around his boots that were cut from Paper Trank dark chocolate cardstock. The logs as well were cut from that same color of cardstock from Paper Tray ink. And I'm just inking all around them. I left this in the video. To, it's really quick. I also cut the ends of the logs from that G-Man Tindalo cardstock, that wood grain cardstock. And I'm inking around those as well. And then I cut this out of the Gnome Dyes Candy Charm add-ons. There we go. And then this is also the Gnome Dyes Candy Charm add-ons. Um, but cut out of that Great Outdoors 6-inch pad from Doodlebug. So first I'm cutting off his little foot nubs because they aren't, I'm not going to be using those. And I'm using my Nouveau glue. And I'll be layering down all of the pieces to make this gnome. So first his little beard, then his hat. And I will trim off the top of that hat from behind because, you know, it's going to be hidden. There we go. Yep, just making sure everything works. And I will stick down the layers. I'm kind of giving them like a, a wood, woodsman's hat, right? With a pattern, because that's fun. And then I'm going to layer that next piece. There we go. Lots of fun plaids. Now, I cut his little legs out of Smoky Shadow um, Paper Train cardstock. You won't see it. This pattern is from that Great Outdoors 6-inch pad from Doodlebug. I'm just adding that in the center. And then I'm going to add my little boots cut from Dark Chocolate cardstock. There we go. And I'm adding those down. Next, I'll add the little treads that were cut from New Leaf cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. It's just kind of like a green that goes with everything. So I'm just going to add those. And then the little ties are cut out of that same cardstock that I'll apply in a bit. Okay, next I'm going to pop up his little mustache. I like to cover the hat just a little bit. Yeah, so using those Stampin' Up Dimensionals, I trim the edges and use everything. And there we go. And I'll use my reverse tweezers to get that mustache positioned slightly over the hat. Now the little nose is cut from, pay, um, from P13 Stamping Pad Skin Toes. Remem remember, Jada Blossom has that, and you can buy that in their store. Now I will add the little laces with my Nouveau Glue using my Studio Katia Embellishment Wand to pick up the little pieces. There we go. And they are tiny. That's why you need a little, a little um, embellishment wand. I find that it just a, makes things a lot easier to do that. And then I'm adding my next little piece on, and I'll do the same here. Now, you could have made these any color. I just chose to use green, you know, just so they show up. And I'm having the hardest time flipping this little guy over. <laughs> and then I'll pick that up with my uh, embellishment wand from Studio Katia. There we go. Now we trim the legs in half. And then I'm going to stick those down under my little gnome. I'm using my little um, graph paper underneath from Stampin' Up just to get things straight. There we go. Isn't that cute? And I will weight it down with an acrylic block. Okay, so next I've got this, the base piece of that um, Candy Charms add-ons. And I cut the one hand off because I'm going to have him holding it with one hand. And now I'm adding on my little orange layer. And then next the little green layer. There we go. Next I'm going to add the number 75 because this is a 75th birthday card cut from Paper Trank Dark Chocolate Cardstock. That's the Build-A-Booth al Alphabet Add-Ons. That's a perfect and handy set to have. There we go. So I cut out the age and it fits perfectly in those Candy Charm add-ons. So next I'm going to put together this little axe and I cut that out of um, G. Mintindola wood grain cardstock, just the craft wood stock uh, cardstock. Next I'm going to add on my little axe blade that was cut from scrapbook.com's holographic mirror paper. There we go. And next I'm going to add on his little hand, I'm going to pop that up with 
a miniature dimensional. And that is what he's going to look like. And I'm going to have the blade co cover the boo-boo of the hat, right? You might as well. I'm going to pop up his little hand. And there we go. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to put that off to the side so I can finish working on the rest. So next I'm going to put together these little logs. And I'm just going to get my one log. I just cut one so I could have a little bit of dimension. And I'm going to add the little cut pieces to the front. And there we go. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to weight that down. Now I went ahead and I cut out this pattern from uh, Doodlebug's Great Outdoors again. And this was cut with uh, Jaded Blossoms card mat dies. It's roughly four by five and a quarter inches. So I'm going to line that up on the front of my card base with my ATG tape. Next, I have this paper. This is the Barbecute 12 inch pad and I've got that grass that I used on another pa paper. So I'm just going to cut out um, the top of it with the mushroom dies. So I have a grassy hill. And then the bottom is cut with the card mat dies, so it lines up, you know, so the stitching all lines up because Leanne is crazy like that. Next, I'm going to glue that down to my card base. I wanted to make sure that my little tree trunk sort of fit, you know, on that hill. So that's why I was kind of measuring it out earlier. Now, this is cut out of paper train dark chocolate cardstock, and I'm using uh, close to my heart's white daisy ink to ink around the edge. There we go. And I'm going to add the little cut piece to the top. That's that Jimin Tindalo uh, wood grain cardstock again. But remember, you can get it from other companies. This was just how it, I believe I got it from cutcardstock.com back in the day. I don't think they carry it anymore. So, you know, you got to keep your eye out. You can get it. Other companies carry wood grain cardstock, so you can get that. It doesn't really matter. Next, I'm adding on the leaves. These are cut from that new leaf cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. Inked around the edges of those as well. And I'll weight that down. And I did cut some grass from that same new leaf cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And I'm just inking around the edge of, of that with that white daisy ink again from close to my heart. Okay, so next I'm going to glue down this little tree stump to my card front with my Nouveau glue just sort of towards the center. There we go, just making sure it's straight and I will weight it down. Next, I'm going to add in some grass and then I will glue down my little logs on the lower right. And then I'm going to add some grass, but I will cut the bottom of it so it's flat across the bottom. And I will add that to the bottom of my card there, just for a little bit of dimension. There we go. Next, I'm going to glue down my sentiment. So it says, happy birthday, cheers to many more adventures. On the inside, it says, P.S., you're old, you're old as a dirt, right? You have to add a funny sentiment somewhere on these cards. Okay, so next I'm going to add the, hit the little age that the gnome is holding. There we go. And then um, I'm just sort of lining up where my little gnome's going to stand. And then I want to have the axe so it covers the little boo-boo on the hat but doesn't go outside uh, the card. So I'm just going to glue down his little axe. Isn't that cute? There we go, have his mustache hanging over top, because why not, right? Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to, um, I'll be gluing him down, but I'll be adding some dimensionals, you know, in parts that, you know, um, are lower than the rest. Oops, I'm sort of out of screen, sorry guys. So I'm adding uh, dimensionals to the top and to his feet, but the middle of him, we will just glue flat. So I'm just going to peel off the release paper here on those dimensionals. And then I'll add a little bit of glue to the center of his body and his legs. And then I will line him up on my card front. And of course I'm out of screen because you know I'm such a professional. 
<laughs> there we go. And there it is. Isn't that cute? I just think he's adorable. Next, I'm pulling out some shape sprinkles. These are just stars uh, from Doodlebug. And this is called, um, what's it called? Night Sky? Yeah, October Sky. So I'm just going to add some yellow stars. Just five, you know, to keep it uneven. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? Just trying to make sure it's straight and everything looks great. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you come back and watch another one soon. Bye, everybody.